What is going on everybody? It's go Karts Mini Bikes and More and today I'm going to be showing you how to clean a carburetor for a 212 or any carburetor similar to the Hondas and Honda clones. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get an old toothbrush and um, after you use this either throw it out or keep it in a toolbox. Do not bring it back in the house just so you or others don't use it. And just what you're going to want to do is the either the gas that just comes out of the carburetor, like the excess gas, or the gas you drained from the gas tank. Um, just dip it in there and just scrub the outside um, clean. Because as you can see, there's still a lot of dirt left. But I did uh, scrub the carburetor. Of course, you need two hands for it. And it does look a lot better, as you can see could use a little bit more but I'm not going to be picky with it because um, it's just the outside and the only reason I clean the outside is so when I take the bowl and stuff off um, dirt doesn't get in there and everything now you may be wondering what is this to and why am I cleaning it this is to my 212 cc race go-kart that some of you may know um, and the reason why I have to clean it is for two reasons one because when uh, I let the gas sit in the carburetor for the whole winter with a full tank of gas uh, I should mention it the, the gas got really varnished and it just wasn't good anymore it didn't the engine didn't run right it smoked a lot from the bad gas and um, because two I didn't oil my k and style air filter so word to the wise people oil your air filters um so there's a lot of dirt in here i don't know if i ever told you guys a story but when i went to change the emulsion tube on this dirt actually fell out and was crunching and that's bad because that can bore out your engine after some time so if your engine if your carburetor is bad just get a whole new carburetor but if it's not terrible get uh just a rebuild kit if there's that bad but my seals and everything seem to be good, so I don't need a rebuild kit. I'm just going to clean it with some carb cleaner and uh, call it good. Uh, so just a little tip. If your gas tank has gas in it, make sure you just drain it outside. I tried draining it into this container, but the fuel line isn't long enough coming off the gas tank to drain directly into the container. It went down the pull cord cover or the shroud, if you will and went everywhere so I wound up just pulling the whole go-kart outside and letting it drain outside it was a mess didn't like it wasn't fun um, but nonetheless uh, I got the carburetor off so first thing we're gonna do like I said is clean the outside with a toothbrush and just a little bit of gas or maybe some carb cleaner on the toothbrush whatever you think would work better um, whatever works for you I just have gas on hand so and that seems to be doing the job so with that said we are going to dive in so let's get this started the things you're gonna need um, not mandatory but nice to have a toothbrush just to clean the outside uh, carb cleaner uh, some paper towels and just a microfiber or just an old towel to lay everything down on just so it's not rolling all over a dirty workbench or anything and i apologize for the noise as a lot of you know i have the furnace down here so it's going to be a little bit noisy from time to time so just try and bear with me um, hopefully you can hear me well so without further ado let's get this thing started all right guys so i completely forgot to mention the number one tools you're going to need is a wrench set and some small screwdrivers to get the jet out. I have these two, I don't know which one is gonna work, so I just brought them both. So, what you're gonna wanna do first, after cleaning the outside of the carburetor off, is you're gonna wanna take the bowl off. Now, you can do this one of two ways. Well, you can only take the bowl off one way, but you can drain the excess gas in there two ways. You can use the drain school screw, or you could just take the bowl, uh, bowl nut off, and the gas will drain out that way. I'm gonna do it that way just because I don't feel like taking out more screws than I have to. Another good thing to mention is do it in a well-ventilated area or outside if you can. I just can't because it's raining and uh, terrible out, so I'm doing it this way. Um, I have the two doors open. It reeks of gas in here, so I'm just hoping that's enough. 
Um, be safe, be smart. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this bowl out off and uh, start the video when I have it off. The reasoning for this drain thing is to catch the excess gas coming out of the bowl, which I don't think I'm gonna have much left because a lot of it did come out of the actual carburetor from the fill uh, nozzle or whatever you wanna call it. But nonetheless, just hold it over and unscrew it and drain the gas. Or if you want, you could do it right on the rag. I'm not gonna do that just so uh, this doesn't smell like gas. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And like I said, take that bowl off. Okay guys, so I got the bowl off and there actually was little to no gas in there, so that's good for me. As you can see, there is no debris in there as far as I can see. There is a little bit around where the gasket sets, so I will be sure to wipe that off with the microfiber. Um, so the next thing you're going to want to do is take the float off. And how you do that is that little needle sticking out, you just want to pull that out with some needle nose and uh, make sure you that float needle comes out with it. Um, so, and then after you take that needle out, it'll this whole float will just lift out and then just set it aside uh, to clean the carburetor. You do wanna keep track of these parts because they are tiny, as you can see that needle. And also, make sure you take that gasket off, the bowl gasket. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that stuff and I apologize, I can't really show you guys how to do it. I don't have a tripod nor do I have anyone to start and stop the camera for me, so this is the best I can do. I hope it works. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that needle out, take that gasket off, and I'll show you guys what to do next. Okay, so once you get this needle out, what you're gonna wanna do is just lift the bowl out, being careful that that float needle comes out with it. So when you pull the needle out, don't pull it out that way because it'll hit this and you won't be able to get it out. Make sure you pull it out from here to here, basically left to right, as if you were reading a book. So after you do that, and again, sorry the furnace is going, after you do that, the whole float mechanism should just lift right out. And as you can see, that little float needle right there, make sure you take that off as well so you do not lose it. And then, if you can see, it is really hard to see. You can see there is a jet up in there that you're gonna wanna take out. And um, also the emulsion tube, I would take out as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and show you guys what to do next. And I know I should mention this later, but if I don't, don't do it now, I'll forget. Make sure where that bowl gasket sits is clean because I had a lot of dirt on mine. As you can see, this is all from just that. So you get a nice seal. Um, the carb cleaner will take care of a lot of that. Like I said, you're gonna have to do some wiping and everything, but I have the jet almost out, as you can see. So once I take that out in the emulsion tube, um, you should be pretty much ready to clean. But nonetheless, I keep saying nonetheless, <laughs> Um, I will take out the jet and the emulsion tube and show you guys what's next. Now as you can see my jet is out and if your carburetor is really bad and your jet is stopped up you might want to just clean the jet as well but what, if you can't get the jet out just hold up the carburetor and just give the the little stem a tap and it should fall out. My emulsion tube did not come out so I'll keep tapping on that. Don't beat on it but I got my jet out and it doesn't look to be stopped up at all. So that's good. So I won't have to clean that. So really I'm just focusing on the actual carburetor to clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that, um, what's it called, the emulsion tube out. And I uh, guess we'll be ready to clean. Now I'll be honest with you guys, I don't have any carburetor clean on hand. So this video is basically gonna stop and then later on in the day, I will start it again. So as of right now, the time is 10.57, and we'll see what time it is next time I uh, turn on the camera after I get this emulsion tube out. And uh, after that, after I get the carb spray, we'll be ready to clean this sucker.
as you can see it doesn't look really dirty but it is there's a lot of dirt it doesn't show up on camera but down in there and everything it was dirty the behind the air filter adapter it was dirty dirt got everywhere so that's why i'm cleaning this so i'm gonna go ahead and take that emulsion tube out and i'll start the camera up i guess after i get the carb cleaning spray my bowl gasket does look a little bad but it wasn't leaking before so i'm just going to go ahead and use it again if it's a problem down the road it shouldn't be that hard to change uh, i got the emulsion tube out and what's, what I did with the jet and the emulsion tube is just set them down and just roll them on your towel or microfiber just to get whatever dirt is on the surface out or off I should say. Just go ahead and do that and I, like I said if your jet and everything is stopped up you're going to want to clean that or soak that in parts cleaner too. But that's pretty much it. I got the carburetor stripped down. And for those of you who are wondering why I didn't do a video of it ta of taking it off, it's because, I'll be honest, I didn't know how to take it off at the time, but it turns out to be really easy. Um, I probably won't do a video on how to put it back on, just because this video is already getting pretty long as it is, just for a carb cleaning video. But I just wanted to go into a little bit more detail, because uh, a lot of videos I watched, they didn't. They were kind of just like, do this, do that, and then you're done. So I want to just go and do a little bit more detail. And I don't know if you guys can see in there. There is a lot of dirt just in the threads. So I can just imagine how much is in the carburetor itself. So that's basically how you strip down a carburetor to its bare bones. And when I get the carb clean, I will clean it out and show you guys how to reassemble. One more thing I should mention, it is probably helpful if you guys don't know how to take apart a carburetor, and sorry I don't have my lens on so it's really up close. If you guys don't know how to take apart a carburetor, not only will this video help you, but it's a good idea to line up the parts in the order they came off. So first came the choke lever, then the, the, the float bowl bolt, and then the float bowl gasket, and then so on. I'll let you guys just get a picture of that just so you can see and that's the needle for the float and the float needle is still in there by the way just so I should call this a pin actually because that's the needle that's the pin and then the jet and emulsion tube so like I said before be back when I get carburetor spray Okay guys, so I've now got some carburetor cleaner and the time is now 3 o'clock and the last time I time stamped it I believe it was 10.57 so basically all day. But I got some carburetor cleaner. Now with this, the straw is your friend because you do have to get up into the um, fuel, where the fuel line goes. And it's also just nice just to get a little bit more precise and everything. So I'm going to show you guys where to spray it. Now you're going to want to spray it down here where the fuel line goes. Down where the jet and emulsion tube goes. And then down the throat of the carburetor. Just right through there. And then right through there. So, um, you don't have to do a crazy amount, but make sure you get it sprayed. I can't get this cap off one-handed. Make sure you get it sprayed down. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it's nice if you have a container to catch the excess of the uh, cleaner. But I stupidly threw mine out before I was done with it. But that's all right, I got, that's what this rag is for. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray down those areas and let you, go, you guys know how it looks when uh, it's done. And as I said before, the good things you probably wanna do is just try and spray out that jet and maybe the emulsion tube, but I don't think mine or are clogged. So I'm gonna do that anyways, just in case. And what I'm also gonna do is spray down right there and right there on the choke lever just so it has a nice pivot 
because there is a lot of dirt and gunk on there as you can see. And another good thing to do is spray the bowl. Even though it isn't dirty, it should uh, you should do it just because you have it apart now. So why have to take it apart again to do it? So just do it all now. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray all this stuff down, the carburetor where I told you guys to do it, the choke arm and the bowl, and maybe the jet and emulsion tube, but I, I don't know yet because like I said, they don't seem that clogged up if at all but I will inspect them a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. I forgot to mention when you spray through the carburetor and everything, you're gonna wanna make sure you turn the fuel on. This way all, all the passages open up and everything. I forgot to do that, so uh, I didn't really get a good clean. So that's really important for when you're spraying down the fuel line tube and everything so make sure you have the fuel set to on so i'm gonna go ahead and reclean that and i should mention when i sprayed this out dirt actually came out like the, the fluid turned brown so this uh this carburetor definitely needed the cleaning and uh if you could see the outside i scrubbed it pretty good it looks actually almost brand new so pretty happy with that so i'm gonna go ahead and do a second pass this time with the fuel on and i'll uh get to assembling after that okay so i sprayed i resprayed the car cleaner with the fuel on set to the on position and now it uh when i sprayed it down the fuel line piece it came out the bottom which is good that means it's not blocked up um I did scrub the outside a little bit more just because I wasn't happy with it, but I'm, I'm happy with it now. Now what you're going to want to do is blow it out with an air compressor. Not, not crazy, but just to get the old starting fluid, no, not starting fluid, carb cleaner. They both look the same. And, uh, and then just blow it out. Now if you don't have an air compressor, just let it sit for a little bit and uh, let all this evaporate or whatever it does and uh, then we can get ready for assembly and I apologize the video is taking a lot longer than I would have liked but I just wanted to be thorough about it so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this out and then I'll uh, hurry up and get the assembly done now just for rushing sake I'm just gonna tell you guys what parts go in what order so First, you're gonna wanna make sure you put this gasket on for the bowl. Put that on first, cause you won't forget the jet to put in the jet, but you will probably forget to put in that gasket. And uh, after you put it all together and you forget you put the gasket, you're gonna be really pissed that you have to retake it apart. So what you're gonna wanna do is put on the gasket first, make sure it's not creased or anything, and then screw in your, put in your emulsion tube. And how that goes is this, base right here goes pointed out so it goes in just like that basically and then screw in your jet now when you screw in your jet do not crank it down it has threads but it's not a bolt just put it in snug i guess you want to say but i mean even that might be a little bit much just uh screw it in and then once it's stopped spinning just give it the tiniest little bit extra turn because these threads do strip out super easy, as a lot of you know. And then after that, put on your float, making sure the needle goes in where it's supposed to. And then put in the pin for the float uh, mechanism. And then put on the bowl, put on the nut, the bolt for the bowl. And then put on your choke lever and put it back on the go-kart or mini bike or power washer, whatever you're doing. Um, but anyway, I hope this was helpful. I apologize. It was extra long. I just wanted to be thorough about it, like I said, but I hope this was helpful. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out in Garage Amino at Go-Karts, Mini Bikes, and more, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.